Hey guys, this is it. This is the beginning. I finally decided to start the vlog and honestly, I couldn't be happier. Just wanted to take some time for anybody who's watching who doesn't know me personally. My name is Anissa. I'm 19 years old. I'm currently in Toronto. I'm not always in Toronto, but I'll explain to you guys a little bit more about that. But I first wanted to start about talking about why I started the vlog, why I wanted to start the vlog, and how long I've been wanting to start the vlog. So I've always been such a creative person. If anybody knows me, they know that I like I like to be expressive in many ways. I like to show people what my interests are. I like to hear about other people's interests. That really inspires me, is knowing what other people are up to, what other people are doing. And one day I saw what one person was up to. This person happened to be a vlogger. And since then, I've, I've acquired many different role models who do this type of stuff, other creative figures who work in music or photography, but we can get more into that. So I just knew that as a creative person who is in business school, which as those who are taking business know, sometimes it's not all that creative, but obviously anything is what you make of it. But I knew that in my career, in my life, I wanted to have, to have a creative outlet. So that's why I really felt strongly connected to this and this is why I've been wanting to start a vlog for maybe two years now. I also kind of wanted to get into what I've been up to in my life. Um, that's mainly what this vlog is going to be about, obviously, because what else would I be vlogging about? I mean, I do like makeup, I like that kind of stuff. Maybe you'll see a makeup vlog, but not right now. But just to get started, I mean, if you know me from Ottawa, that's my hometown, capital of Canada, and yes, I am so proud to be from Ottawa. One of my favorite cities in the whole world, and every time I go back, I just cherish something more that I, I hadn't cherished when I lived there originally, so I uh, really like returning. This time last year, I did know that I was going to be moving to Toronto. I knew that I was going to be starting in a business program at Ryerson University, located in the heart of Toronto. And it seemed so strange to me that I was going to leave Ottawa suburbia with all my friends there, um, with a good job that I had working as a life garden swimming instructor. Honestly, my life in Ottawa was amazing. I was so thankful, so grateful. I have an amazing family back home. Um, so it was weird to think that I was just gonna leave, that I was just gonna go do something different that I knew might be hard, might be difficult, might be extremely scary, and in all honesty, it really was. It was all of those things. But it was also amazing and challenging and taught me so much and introduced me to so many cool, amazing people and brought me so many amazing, crazy, fun opportunities. So I wouldn't change anything. And sometimes you have to remind yourself of that, especially when you're young, especially when you're trying new things. It's hard, it's hard to know if you're doing the right thing. And a big part of the vlog as well is just to remind myself that you wouldn't be here if it wasn't the right thing to do. You wouldn't be sharing these stories if you weren't meant to share these stories. So that's why I'm really proud of where I am and what I'm up to. So I survived my first year of university. That's a big one right there. But it definitely taught me that I'm really interested in business. And business is such a broad term. Really, business is anything. It can be anything and that's what I like about it. You can make it your own, and like I said, I love to be creative, so I hope I can bring that into play. So finished my first year, decided not to go home. I am a crazy kid who thought, nah, screw it, don't go home and save money. Stay in Toronto and find a cool job, and that's what I did, so. I'm currently working at the Cineplex Entertainment Headquarters, so I'm not going to tell you guys what I do there quite yet, because I'd love to get into that in more detail another time, because um, there are some big things going on there that I'm sure anybody who's either in Toronto or visiting Toronto will be excited to hear about. So on the topic of staying in Toronto for the summer, I have lined myself up a very amazing, amazing, amazing apartment that I worked so, 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 so hard to find, so I'm so happy that that worked out. And my best friend and I, are going to be living there but only on June 5th and I'm pretty sure today is like May 15th or something but here I am in Toronto so you might ask where am I staying and the answer is I am couch surfing <laughs> so I'm currently at my friend Adam's house I met Adam at residence where we lived this past year so we just moved out two weeks ago he's so amazing for letting me stay here the week before this I was at my boyfriend's place maybe 40 kilometers outside of the city. Um, it was a little far. The commute was hard to work, so Adam was really nice. He's letting me sleep on the sofa. 
It's a huge sofa. I'll show you guys later. It's a nice sofa. But I'm just really thankful that I have a roof over my head. Um, because not everybody's that fortunate and I'm so, so happy that I have friends who've got my back, people who support me, people who are excited to hear about what I have to say, about what I'm doing in my life, and I love hearing about what my friends are doing and what other people are doing, so that's that. Um, but let me just show you guys the view from Adams because it's pretty cool. watching I realized when I went to editing that I didn't say goodbye so cheers to the first vlog cheers to many more uh, take care and talk to you guys soon bye